Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for July 18th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so I'm seeing we have these two fours here looking into this box, and this four looks up, so we can place a four in this box. Um, that's it for buddies. This four doesn't help. There are already four in this box. Three... Okay, this one looks in and this one looks in, the, and this 4 and 9 aren't 1, so 1 ends up in one of these two cells, and that's going to point into this box along with this one, putting a 1 up here. By the way, if I'm ever using any terminology you're not sure about, or you'd like to learn more in depth about any of the systems or techniques or strategies I use, uh, there is a link in the description to a video, uh, Everything You Need to Know to Solve a New York Times uh, Sudoku, uh, that is in the description. Highly recommend watching that if you have not. All right, because um, I just I can't spend the time every single time explaining everything from first principle, so why not just have that video as a resource? And if you do have questions beyond that, uh, I am happy to answer them in the comments. So we do have these two threes. There's a three in one of these two. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else to do here. It feels like there should be, but yeah, unfortunately this eight is no good because this eight isn't is in line with that one four, so it doesn't reduce us to two places. Um. All right, I'm going to move on to the next uh, band here. So we have four and seven. So these two fours look into here. So four and one of these two. Uh, and then we have two and three. Okay, so two twos look in. This two looks in as well. I'm noticing we have a bunch of threes looking into this box. Unfortunately, it does just put them in one of these two because this, this three is not placed to, uh, to help out there. Um, I thought maybe it was. We need two, three, and four. Whenever I see um, stuff like this, I'm always suspicious of this row, right? Where are two, three, and four in this row? We already know the four is over here. We already know the two is over here. The three, unfortunately, can be in a bunch of places. Um, well, the three's in these three places. You know what's interesting is that we're very close to having a hidden triple here. It's like, but if it was a hidden triple, then this wouldn't be two, and then we'd just be able to place the two, and then this three, and then three and four over here. So not, not amazing. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. Also, one, two... One, two, six, eight, right? I'm curious about this column. It's really just about seeing, you know, just looking at them as, I call it geometry, because you want to look at the shape of them and go, well, this shape, I don't even care what numbers they are right now, this shape avoids these, right? They're not hitting this column. So one, two, six, eight. Now you have to compare against the column and go, well, eight isn't going to help. We already have an eight. So one, two, and six. And then, you know, I can see that we have the buddy ones and the buddy sixes, but we don't actually have a, a restriction on the. You know, we haven't restricted it three places, but if you only you, you can't only look for it when it's something that is helpful. You have to just keep looking for it um, and hope that at one point it will be helpful. Also, this seven four. I was curious about this seven in this column. This column is pretty full, but unfortunately, there's two places still for seven. Uh, okay, so I think we got what we need, what we could get out of this band. Um, I really want this seven to do something. The three. Oh, actually, here we go. So it's actually this one six eight against this row. So if we ignore the two and we look at the shape of one this this one six eight, or if you prefer, you can see the, the three four seven against this box. Well, let's just do it this way. So one six eight aren't here, and then we have three additional givens, and one six eight aren't given in the row. And so the one six eight takes it out of three cells in its own box, and then there's an additional three cells it can't be just because they're filled with other givens. And so there's three cells remaining because there's nine cells total. So nine minus six is three. So there's only three cells remaining, four, one, six, and eight. Um, and so that's where one, six, and eight can go, need to go. So I'm going to fill it. I am seeing this and this, which is going to be extremely helpful. Oh, ju just this, actually. Um, but so one, six, eight, I'm going to fill. And you can see that we've re restricted one, six, and eight to these three cells. But actually, this cell can't be one or six. No, uh, and so if it has to be from one, six, eight, but can't be one or six, then it must be an eight. And so that leaves us with a one, six pair. So the other way we could have done that which maybe feels a bit more straightforward, is one six in this row. So one six can't go here, one six can't go here, and it can't go in these spots. So we actually have a hidden one six pair. And then now where does eight go in this row? Now that one, the one six hidden pair has removed eight as an option from those two cells, eight is a hidden single here. The result is the same, um, however you want to see that. But don't forget to follow up the other way where we have three, four, and seven looking in here. So these are three, four, seven, and that can't be a four. And so now this is a pair, uh, one, two, three, four. We need five and nine here. This nine tells us the order. That's five, that's nine. 
Alrighty. Um, I do want to follow up on this nine here. Just look up into here. This nine looks in. That places this nine. These two nines look in. This nine looks up. That places this nine. These two nines look in. Ah, uh, it stops there. There's nine in one of these two. And then there's... Oh, actually it doesn't stop there because we have these two nines looking in here, placing this nine, which only happened once we got that eight. Uh, so that was pretty recent. And so then that removes this as an option for nine and it places our last nine in the grid. So we just finished all the nines. <laughs> so that was a nice follow-up. Um, I don't think fives are as juicy. We just place this five. Um, okay, what else do we want to look at here? So I want to look at the rest of this box. One, five, six, seven. This can't be one, so this is five, six, seven. These can't be six, so these are five. These are one, five, seven. I forgot what the digits were. Um, so six is one of these two. I guess I'll mark that. The rest of this row is three, five, six, seven. This can't be three or seven, so this is five, six. This can be any of three, five, six, seven. Okay, I think that's all I get out of this band. Let's move on to the next band here. Um, suspicious of six, eight, nine. You might go, ooh, there's three open spaces. It's a hidden triple, but no, remember these are already six, nine. So it's only the eight that could that would get restricted, and unfortunately it could be in any of them. So. Uh, we've also got one six nine here. The nine doesn't count. It would be just the one six. You can already see that these two cells can be one six. This can be one. It's not helpful. Um, and then we've got two three nine, which would work both for this row and for this column. So two three nine nine's already in this row. Two and three, really not that restricted. Two three nine nine's already. We already have all the nines done. I don't know why I'm considering nines. Um, we already have the threes marked. Yeah, there's nothing to see there, so no geometry in those boxes, as far as I can tell. Uh, the other thing is to look inward. I guess we can do the buddies first. Let's do buddies first. Uh, I don't know why I skipped that. These two sixes look in. There's a six down here. Eight, nines are done. Six and one, that's it. That's it for buddies. So we want to look at stuff like this two looking into this box. This two looks down. And so that's a crossing on this eight, nine. There's a two in one of these two. That is going to point in here, along with this two and this two, placing this two. Now those twos will follow up and put a two in one of these two. Okay, um, what else do we have? So we got that two. Nine and two, not helpful. Four, not helpful. This four, I, oh, actually we do have two fours, so we can just corner them here. Um, I've noticed this column is down to three digits. Let's just think about it real quick. We need two, three, and seven. I'm just going to pencil it. I don't think there's anything super special. Just this can't be two and this can't be three. We already knew the two was up here. Okay. Um, all right, let's look at stacks then. So six, eight, and nine. We have the sixes marked. Nines are done. These two eights look up. This there puts an eight up here. Um, and then we've got one and four. So the two one, we have the ones marked. Four does not have a buddy. Okay, anything else of note here? So we have this column, which is down to four digits. It's going to be the three, four, five, and seven. Three, four, five, seven. This can't be three, so this is four, five, seven. Uh, this can't be four, so this is three, five, seven. Hmm, not super interesting. This column is down to four. It might be more interesting because this can't be two, eight. So. Um, and I'm just I'm just referencing my corner marks. I know two and eight are are needed in this column because of the corner marks, and I also know this can't be two or eight because of the corner marks. So, um, but what's left in this column is two, three, seven, eight. So this is three, seven only. This can't be three, so this is two, seven, eight. Okay, I think that's all we can do with that. A three, seven here, and three, seven here. Unfortunately, don't, don't make a pair, but I'm suspicious. Um, we also have a 3-7 here. <laughs> it's like, oh, just use a triangle method or something. No, there's no triangle method. <laughs> um, I don't think we can even prove they're the same or different from each other at this point. All right, that's unfortunate. Did I look at this row? I don't think I did. 4, 5, 6, 7. So this can't be 6. This is 4, 5, 7. This can't be 4, so this is 5, 6, 7. This can't be 7, so this is 4, 5, six almost making triples and stuff not quite okay um 
So what's next? I think I did this stack. I think we're good on that. Let's do the next stack. I've already kind of looked at the stacks, but we're just going to look at them a little more closely. Four and five. So we do have the two fours looking down here. So four is somewhere in here. Uh, we've got the two, three, four, and eight. So the twos we have marked already. Fours we've marked already. Three and eight. Not helpful. Okay. Anything else to see here? Um, this cell here is avoiding the one, two, and three corner marks, and they also can't be four, five, nine. So this is down to at most three digits. Can't be one, two, three, four, five. Could be six or seven, can't be eight or nine. Okay, and of course, whenever we mark a cell up, we want to be scanning to see if we see another six, seven, right, in this case. And so something I'm mentally noting is I've got this five, six, seven. So I'm, I'm hopeful that that might end up a pair or, or a triple at some point. Um, the other thing we can do is we can look to see are there any other cells that could possibly be from five six seven only. Um, this is this is a possibility because it can't be one, two three. Unfortunately, it could be oh it can't be four actually. So it could be five. Can't be six. Could be seven. I think eight is added to the mix though. Yeah. So eight eight. This column does need an eight, and there's two places for it. Unfortunately. Okay, it was worth a shot. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do here. Let's move on to the last stack here. So we have three, four, and eight. So we do have the two threes, that's marked. We have the fours, that's marked. Eight, I don't think is doing anything. And then that's it. Okay, so we did not complete the puzzle with our first pass, as you may have noticed. Um, so we're going to look a little bit more closely. First thing I like to do is go box by box and just make sure I didn't miss anything like, hey, I corner marked eights, and then, but I still penciled eights elsewhere, things like that. Uh, and also looking out for geometry. Maybe there was, there's new geometry that was exposed um, or just ones that I missed. Um, stuff like that that I'm just looking on the lookout for. Just paying attention to the box in relation to both the band and the stack. So. And I'm letting the givens guide me and the corner marks guide me. So six and eight corner marks seem fine. We know nines are done. So we can, there's going to be a nine in every box, right? Uh, fours are done in this band. Fours are not done in this stack. We can't do much with that. Um, I think that I don't think we get anything from there. So we've got the twos cornered, the ones cornered, the threes. How about uh, four and five? So five in this row. It's down to two places, unfortunately. Um, five in this column can be in a bunch of places. Yeah. So we're just paying attention to digits that are being called out by positive information that we know. Hopefully, I'll find something. So we got the three, four, eight, nine here. Um, the ones are corner marked up here. So what does that leave for here? Two, five, six, seven. So this can't be, ooh, yeah, okay. So this can't be one, could be two, can't be three, four, five, could be six, can't be seven, eight, nine. So it's down to two, six. I'm always on the lookout to see if maybe we've got, see, if, the, if this was a two, six, seven triple, uh, I know it's not here because we have a three corner marked in there. So three is obviously an option in there. But if this was a two, six, seven triple, right, this would have to be a, a hidden three in the row, and this can also be three, so... We've proven that that's not going to make a triple at this point. Um, this cell here, I don't think is as restricted. We could be two, five, six, seven. Two, five, six, seven. I don't think anything's restricted out of that. Okay. I'm looking at this column. I'm wondering, like, what what digit is not represented by any of these marks? Um, I think it's the eight. So one's represented two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the eight that's not represented. Okay, two places for eight. So many close calls here on finding something. Um, how about this three, four, eight? Three and eight? No. Okay, we're going to move on. This box here, we've got the fours. Hmm. What did I miss? I feel like I must have just missed something simple. I don't think there's much to do in here. Just make sure we respect those fours pointing. Here, not much to do. We don't even have much corner marked. We can't corner mark the ones or the fives or the sevens. So yeah, let's move on. 
So here, this cell's missing the two and the three. So it could have as many as four options, but let's see. Uh, so it can be one, can't be two, three, four, could be five, can't be six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it is, oh, and that makes us a one, five, seven, triple. That's what I was saying. Like, let me just double check this is only one, five. So can't be two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. So once you when you when you pencil it, that's the best time to find the triple. And if you're using a computer to pencil everything for you, uh, you can't do that. Which is why I recommend self penciling. It's also more fun to to be exploring the puzzle as you go and not just be penciling everything and then trying to solve. Um, but anyway, do what you want. So this is one five seven triple. I can already see a bunch of stuff we can do from this. First of all, we can eliminate these sevens and place that seven. Uh, but also something to, to just sort of think about is how this 157, the seven's not here. So we know the seven's going to be in one of these two cells, and that's going to claim the box and remove the seven. But just by clearing these sevens and placing this seven, we get the same result. And then now we can see, notice this three corner mark thing. I was talking about it up here, I think. Notice we got the seven, we got the five, six. We know this is going to be a three, because we already got a three corner mark sitting there. If you don't have, uh, I do use the red marks. If you don't use the red marks, I definitely recommend just double checking that there isn't already a, a three being limited there and that three is actually something we need for the row. But anyway, so that's the three. Um, so we have this one, five, seven, we have a three, four pair. So this is two, eight. Okay. Um, that is quite helpful. One, five, six. So the one is in one of these two cells in this box now. Or if you want to just think about it within the one five six triple, the one is in one of these two, so that can't be a one. Uh, let's just think about the rest of this column then, because it can't be ones. So we need the five, six, and seven. So let's just fill that out. That's not a six. Always looking for, did we make a triple? Did we make a pair? Um. Okay, I think that's all we get out of that. It feels like. We're so close to just collapsing this puzzle, but we're not quite there yet. Um, I want this 2-8 pair to help because I've been, I've been struggling with 8s, but I don't think it helps. Um, so let's look at the next box here. Hmm. I've got a few rows and columns that are down to 4 that I might want to double check here. So, for example, wait, what, where did I see that? This is down to 2-3-7-8. So this can't be eight. This is two, three, seven. Ooh, like we're close to something here. Um, two, three, seven, eight. Okay, I'm not seeing anything with that. What else do we have going on here? Two, three, seven, two. Um. This box here. Let's look at this cell. Oh yeah, this is for the column. It's three, four, five, seven. Uh, unfortunately, it can be any of those. I really want there to be something to find here. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing it. It's kind of relate to some stuff I just got. Did I fail to follow up on something? I got this seven. Did I fail to follow up on that? Not really. We don't know much about sevens. Seven's here, I guess. All right, this box, we've got the forest pointing. This is a sticky puzzle. Two, three, nine. Yeah, we already have the three and the nine. We just need a two. That doesn't help me. Um, yeah, we know two's here. Okay. Uh, so I just made my I made it through all the boxes and I'm still not done. So um, that just means I'm missing something. So there's probably a cell that I have not penciled that creates us a needed pair or a triple or something like that. So that's the only thing I can think of that I missed, unless I'm just really being like I'm just <laughs> missing something obvious and I just keep passing over it, not seeing it, which is which has happened. It does happen. Um, so let's see what we can figure out here. So I guess let's just focus on restricted rows and columns, make sure that I caught all of the ones that are worth worthy of penciling here. So here we need two, three, six, seven. This can't be seven now, so this is two, three, six. 
This can't be two, so this is three, six, seven. I really don't think that helps me. Two, three, six, seven. Oh wait, two, three, six, seven. What is this missing? One and eight. So this is a hidden one eight in the box. That's what I was missing. Now, how could we have seen that? This one, I think what I missed is this eight. Yeah, I missed this eight looking into this box for a, for a while. I don't know when I placed that eight. Um, but when I did, what I missed is it affecting this box here. I didn't follow up on it properly. So that actually makes a hidden one eight pair here. I actually saw that through the two, three, six, seven quadruple. <laughs> But for every if if there's six cells left, if there's a naked quadruple, then there's a hidden pair because they have to add to to the number of digits remaining. So one eight pair means this can't be eight. That's huge. That places the eight here. Um, I hope that's huge. We had a two seven pair here as well. So this is going to be um, five and six. It looks like I don't think it's resolved. Huh. <laughs> All these five sixes, five six sevens, five sevens. What's going on here? Um, so we got the one eight, we got the two seven. These are five six. So that does mean sevens in one of these two cells. There we go. So these can't be seven, right? So we're seven in this row, it's in one of these two, and that claims the box. So that removes seven from these two cells here. So this is a two, this is a three. That cannot be three now. So six, seven pair makes that a two and that a three. We get our seven here and five. We get our six and whatever this is, two. We get our four and our three. Finally, we cracked the puzzle. <laughs> All right, so that's a two, that's three, that's seven. Okay, uh, we get our five here, five here, one, eight, and two. Places the one in this box, but places the six. We get our eight and our one, our seven, our six, six and five, five and seven, that's our eight. Just cleaning up my red marks at this point. Uh, yeah, five in this row can only go here, so that's our five. Uh, that's our seven. Let's just finish this up. We need a one and a six. Actually, we can't finish that yet. Surprised. Um, over here, we need uh, here we need four seven. Is that done? It's not. Okay, four seven. Oh come on, be in the right mode. There we go. Here we need um, one and five okay that is done that's one that's five what do we need here we got one two we need three and four that's four that's three we get our seven and our four that places the four here six and seven and then we get our one and our six we need one and eight that's eight that's one wow i don't i feel like that was difficult um some some tough spots in this one and it just it didn't let up there was a bunch of stuff we had to spot like kind of in a row uh, very interesting uh, today. A good, good um, exercise for finding the uh, the various pairs and triples and pointing and claiming and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, cool. Let me know how you did, and if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.